ready to start. Are we recording? Great, I can see that we are. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our um, information systems minor information session. Um, I just wanted to say right off the bat, we do these info sessions every Friday. Um, we're kind of doing a lot of in-depth um, kind of approaches to a lot of our programs. So if you want to come every week, it's an excellent way to learn about what Eccles Global has to offer and um, it's just how to get a really great study abroad experience. So um, if you guys have any questions during this uh, process, just pop your questions down in the Q&A or the chat function. Or if you're able to, feel free to unmute and ask me any questions. I'd be happy to answer to the best of my ability. And also joining us today, we have uh, Professor Chong Oh. He is a complete expert on this minor. So if you guys have any questions um, for him directly, just let me know. So before jumping into my presentation, I like to start these sessions off by showing you guys how to access um, our website. So you're going to start with the eccles.utah.edu. Uh, that's the URL. You're going to go to the students tab, Eccles Global, give that a click. Hopefully my Wi-Fi is generous with us today. You can do it. It's going to pull up Eccles Global's homepage. And from there, you can see on this top bar, we have all of our study abroad programs, but today we're gonna to be focusing on the global minor and information systems minor. So if you click on that, it will lead you to the homepage where you can find all your information needed. And it also has a place to register and apply. Awesome. So I can show you guys that at the end if you'd like to see it again. Um, this shows a lot of your credits and where you're taking them, pre-departure checklists, and just cost um, details. But from here, I'll jump into our presentation. Great. So the information systems minor will be occurring in Tokyo and Seoul in the summer of 2021. We're feeling pretty confident about uh, COVID right now and the likelihood of a vaccine coming out soon. So everyone keep their fingers crossed and we can make this happen. So brief introduction to the program. This is a 12 week program spanning from May 17th to August 8th. You're gonna spend your first six weeks in Tokyo, Japan and your last six weeks in Seoul, Korea. We have excursions every Friday, which is a really special part of this program. Um, and also the weekends are completely yours to explore. So by making this program so long and 12 weeks is like basically the entire summer, it really allows you to dive deep into the culture of where you're staying and kind of get what it feels like to be a resident there. And the most important thing about this program is at the end of it, you will have earned a complete information systems minor, which really makes you stand out on a job application and especially in your resume. Um, it shows that you kind of have a Dual, um, dual abilities and you know, if you pair it with a major, then it can really uh, put you forward in, the, in your job career. Awesome, so this is just a brief description um, of what you're gonna learn on your trip. So you will learn how to build database, build web applications, learn computer networking, and finally analyze and design systems. So that's where a lot of the curriculum is uh, focused on. However, I did also want to mention, because um, I think that you will earn and like gain a lot more knowledge from this program aside from in-classroom experience. So um, primarily, you're going to be experiencing a new culture. A lot of people don't uh, visit Asia very often, so that makes this program really, really special. And you'll be able to try something that you um, have never done before. You'll also get to grow your network in part of your intended field. You're going to be um, in connection with people who are special, uh, specialized in information systems and be able to reach out to them later in your career. And finally, personally, I feel like this is a really important um, part of any of Eccles Global's study abroads, and that is building a community with your classmates. We really wanna make sure that you're getting, again, a great network with fellow peers and truly building strong friendships on these uh, programs. So that's definitely an important one for this minor. 
So the two universities where you guys will be studying is first um, in Tokyo, the JF Oberlin University. Um, it's a super gorgeous campus, as you guys can see. If you guys want to look it up on the internet, you can see lots of really great pictures of it. And in Seoul, you will be staying at the, I apologize in advance if I butcher this, but the Konkuk University. Um, again, super gorgeous campus and you will be spending a lot of time there. Transportation is something that will be completely essential for your study abroad. It's uh, super popular, uh, or commonly used, sorry, in uh, Japan as well as Korea. And luckily through this program, we will provide you with an in-city transportation pass. So that will allow you to go from uh, point A to point B, no matter where you are, and you will get a really in-depth learning experience about what public trans, uh, transit is like in these countries. Now, um, if you've come to any of my previous info sessions that I've hosted, housing, or you'll know that ho housing is extremely important to me. I just wanna make sure you spend so much time there. You wanna know that you're gonna feel comfortable. And Echoes Global has really sought out amazing housing opportunities for you guys, especially for the IS minor. So in Japan, in Tokyo, you'll be staying in the Hakusan Student Share House which is absolutely gorgeous. I could look at their website all day. <laughs> um, so it's super safe. It's a clean environment, uh, lots of great places to study and uh, a great community at this student share house. Also, after speaking with Professor O, oh, I found out some really cool details about this housing. Um, so it's primarily close to wonderful food. Japan has a great food experience, which I will go into details about later. Um, but it's also really close to a couple amusement rides, which is super special and a great way to spend your weekend, in my opinion. The um, Seoul housing. So this will be in the university dorms, which is super beneficial because you're going to be on university campus at all times. No possibility to be late for your class. Um, hint, hint. <laughs> Also, um, the housing here is safe, it's clean, and you'll also be in a great community with um, close to your other uh, students that are either from Seoul or in your program with you. So the most important thing for me while traveling is definitely um, what you're gonna do while you're there. So I thought I'd include some details about some Friday excursions that you guys will be um, joining in on while wow. you're uh, six weeks in Tokyo as well as Seoul. So this first one also I included an overload of pictures so I hope you guys are ready for that. Um, so this first this is a Buddha statue that you will find while hiking in Tokyo. There's a couple of other things. This is a gorgeous building. I probably will talk a lot about architecture in this these pictures as well because it's really unique um, in uh, Japan and Korea. Um, yeah, gorgeous, just views. Um, this is an anime world, which is also a really cool part of Japan or Tokyo. I love this picture. It's kind of like a 360. So super cool view, kind of fun to look at. Um, next up, I'll talk a little bit about the National Museum. Again, it's super gorgeous, um, has really interesting artifacts inside. And yeah, I know these pictures are just making us all want to travel. <laughs> and finally, in Japan, one of your excursions will be visiting this temple or shrine. Um, it's gorgeous no matter what angle, whatever picture I'm finding from it, day or night. And also traveling food is super important to me. That's, I think, a great way to experience the culture. So I thought it'd include some fun um, street food pictures in this as well. So super cool. Next up in Seoul. So um, let me just click ahead. This first picture will be uh, part of an excursion that's called the city tour. You'll be visiting Lotto World, which looks incredible. It's like a whole amusement park under one little, or it's not very little, but uh, one building. So yeah, there are some pictures from it. As you guys can see in this one, this place looks amazing. Like you will be busy there for hours. So that's super uh, fun. 
Next, this is a temple that you will be visiting in Korea. Again, totally gorgeous and the architecture is just breathtaking. The amount of details in that building are just, just mind blowing. And finally, this is a palace that you'll visit on your excursion. I did include a close up of the ceiling because I thought it was really cool. And again, street food, it's staying common with me. So there are some, those are called, I think, egg sandwiches or something like that. Uh, they look so good. And those are potatoes. So I made a brief little mock-up of what um, your schedule will kind of be looking like. It's not super detailed, but I thought we would go over some important dates. So like I stated at the beginning, the program goes from May 17th to August 18th. May 17th will be the day of your arrival. And for the week after that, you'll be focusing a lot on orientation, getting acquainted with uh, Tokyo, and there'll be a few classes uh, mixed in there as well. Then after your six weeks, you will travel to Seoul, Korea on June 28th. And again, similar to uh, Tokyo, you're going to have a brief orientation period, get acquainted there, and then start your classes. And then departure date is on August 8th. So um, I'll get down to the basics of our cost. So the cost of this program is $14,000, but you are getting a complete deal with our, uh, with our Tokyo and Seoul program. This is an all-inclusive trip, which is honestly, I think this is one of the only programs Eccles Global offers that is fully inclusive. So you will be receiving four classes and one online class, so five credits. Um, you'll be gaining an entire minor. All of your flights are included in this cost. Housing's included, um, which will be twin sharing. And I will say Eccles Global allows you to pick your roommates. This is a super great benefit and we have never had a problem uh, with rooming um, in one of our programs. You will receive a food stipend, which is important so you guys can eat all the delicious street food I just talked about. Um, you will gain a shared Wi-Fi router which is again, super useful when you're traveling out of the country. Um, Seoul, Korea actually has some of the fastest Wi-Fi in uh, the world, which I thought was a really interesting fact. Um, again, you'll be getting in-city transportation, multiple excursions, and finally, all of your medical and uh, safety care will be provided by World Strides, just in case there were something that uh, would happen. So I encourage you guys to apply now. Um, the program is open. You can go and submit an application tonight if you'd like. We have a priority deadline of December 15th, 2020. So that's coming up quicker than you guys think. And then withdrawal deadline will be February 1st of 2021. Um, I'm gonna turn the time over to Chong. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And um, he might have some, a couple of really great insightful comments for us. And I will also be monitoring that chat. So thank you guys. Thanks, Jenna. That was an awesome presentation. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to go. Uh, so um, any questions from Zender? Uh, do we have to take any like prerequisite classes to go or no? Yes, so the program, the IS minor, which is what you can do on campus, it is the same minor. So the prerequisite class is IS 4410, which you need to take in the spring of 2021. Introduction to Information Systems. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Jenna, thank you so much for that presentation. You answered so many of my questions. Um, I, I guess, so I'm, I'm interested in taking this minor over the summer and then turning it into a major. So just looking at the course requirements, I'm curious, um, is 4415 waived for um, the minor then? Um, because I know that there was a class that requires 4415 as a prerequisite. Uh, for the uh, 
in the minor 4415, the Java class is not a required class. And uh, I know that in the major, uh, there is 4415, the Java class is a required class. And there are some prerequisites for, I think it is the web development class to have uh, 4415 as a prerequisite. But we made that exception for the this trip, the IS minor trip. So yeah, we will make the exception for you. Now uh, you can use, you can take these classes in Japan and in uh, Tokyo and still use those credits to fulfill your major. Also, I'm going to be putting my email in the chat just in case you guys maybe a day from now have a question that pops up in your mind. Uh, feel free to contact me with any of those. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. O. Um, You're welcome. I'm also curious just about the, I, I mean, I know it's so early into like, we're, we're, we're a ways from this, but I'm kind of curious just about what COVID is looking like what kind of guidelines that Eccles Global might have in mind, so forth. Yeah, so we are optimistic about going, but uh, if uh, we have to cancel due to COVID, all your deposits will be refunded back to you. Uh, so there's no obligation on your side if you don't go because of COVID. Um, yeah, we don't know yet uh, many, many unknowns right now. I think awesome. this is an awesome, uh, in terms of cost, this is an awesome uh, program because let me share with you a few things. So the total cost is 14,000. Can, can you see my screen? Does right. this cost include like the flights from Utah to Japan and everything? Yep. Oh, yeah, wow. let's talk about a few things here, which is not in other Eccles Global program. The other program normally you don't include, number one, you don't include the flights. So the flights is from from Salt Lake City all the way to Tokyo, then from Tokyo to Seoul, and to, uh, Seoul back to Salt Lake City. All flight, those flights are included. So uh, we estimate it's about 2,500. 2, because, yeah, it's 2,500 for the flights alone. Then uh, we are giving you back the food. Other programs don't give you food. I mean, you have to pay for it. Uh, we give you back $2,100 for you to spend on food. So that's already, you know, that amount. Um, and also we give you the, uh, I think, uh, the in-city transportation. Other programs, you have to pay for in-city transportation. So that will be about, I believe about 400 US in total, 200 per city. So if you deduct 1400, I mean, take 1400 minus that amount, how much would that be, Jenna? Uh, we don't have to be exact. <laughs> yeah. hmm, I'm trying to see. I can do this. Is it oh, nine thousand? Thousand something. Or no, sorry, okay. I did that wrong. Oh no, wait. Or is it? It's twenty-five, twenty-five, right? Five thousand. In nine thousand, right? Yeah, nine thousand. Yeah, okay. I got I'm it right then. For you guys, but Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> yeah, nine thousand, which covers what other people, what what other programs are covering, but it covers. 13 credits, you know, Jenna, how much do we spend for 13 credits on campus normally? Um, with housing, it's, uh, I, I almost positive it's more than that, <laughs> like considerably more. <laughs> yeah, this but is specifically plus, plus that housing, really is plus all the safety stuff that you're going to have, uh, plus, plus all the excursion. Oh my goodness, I forgot excursion. Normal programs, you maybe get one or two excursions. This is excursions every Friday. Then the other awesome thing is um, then you can go off on Saturday and Sunday uh, to do your own thing. You can travel to any other neighboring countries if you want to, or just stay in Japan or South Korea, which already have a lot of places to go. So awesome program all around. I think this is the best deal. I don't think we're making any money from this, but because we do it for fun. I mean, we enjoy doing it. Yes. Also, I think since uh, we were just talking about excursions, I will say there are like so many more excursions than what I mentioned. Um, I have, I could go through all of them with you guys right now, but I like a little bit of mystery. So um, I won't go over the, I could, but I think I'll 
keep them, but I'll just, just letting you guys know, there are more excursions than what I listed on the PowerPoint. But what about a minor is, is very, very useful skill to have, uh, respective of your major. Um, if you're doing it for your major, then yeah, obviously it's the, you're going down the, uh, the path that you're choosing. But if you're not in the IS major, the minor is so supplementary and also very uh, supportive uh, in terms of providing hybrid skill set to you to, to give you a lot of competitive advantages when you go into the, your career. Because this uh, very uh, technical skill set are uh, very useful nowadays. So Buzz is counting for us that uh, For tuition and fees alone is 7,400. Yeah, and that's on the calculator Credits. on the business website. So you can put in 13 upper division credit hours, boom. The other thing you want to emphasize is if you're a non-resident, you still get resident credit while you're there. Yep, so, if you're a non-resident, yeah. which is awesome. Which means you're only like spending uh, 2,000 more for all the other stuff that I talk about, the excursions, the housing, that you are when you are abroad. Yeah. Any other questions, Joe or Zender? So you guys are recording like this. Uh, it is recorded, yes. Yeah. So where, where are you guys going to like put this somewhere? Because if I need to show like my parents or something, or if you guys want to send me an email, I don't know. Yes, I can show you how to access that. I'll share my screen um, right now. Oh, wrong thing. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you were here for this. I did show how to get to our website homepage. Um, so it's eccles.utah.edu. Start there. Go to the students tab. Eccles Global is right here. It'll, it'll lead you to this page. And this is where um, the info session should be posted. Or I think you could probably access it from our homepage as well. So two different spots there. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I had a question. Um, so, yeah. We need, yeah, so we, we need to take the IS um, 4410 class before the minor, right? Okay. Um, so would Green it be spring. okay? Okay. Or would we, would we be able to take the IS 4410 class on the study abroad program in the summer and then do the IS minor next summer? Uh, you can do the IS minor. Uh, hopefully we'll still do it. Sorry, uh, I misunderstand you. When you say next summer, are you talking about 2021 or 2022? 2022 yeah you can do that uh okay. hope to be i hope to continue to do this every summer the yeah, is minor same location okay. right bus done deal chong it's in the books we're doing it every summer forever <laughs> yeah same price right Fourteen thousand. <clears throat> no it's gone to 18 no, i'm kidding <laughs> Fourteen thousand. why not let's get everybody going that scared me. I, I had such <laughs> no, panic boy. at that point. Me too. <laughs> boy, the way Chong lined it out, I'm like, boy, I'm losing big money. But no, 14000 and it really does include all that, which is pretty amazing. And uh, the housing piece alone would be really expensive in both cities. So um, you guys are going to be able to take care of One thing I'd like to add, though, Chong, is on the return flight, students are still would be able to deviate their flight and come back later from somewhere else. So they, the group comes back on the 6th but you can choose another city to leave from at another time. You just have to pay the difference if it's higher price. So, um, but yeah, but everybody goes on the same date on the same flight from Salt Lake and then comes back whenever they want, so. Yeah, and I mentioned this earlier, you can fly to any countries uh, during the weekend because Tokyo is so close to all these Southeast Asian countries, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia, uh, to the Philippines within a few hours, like two hours, three hours. And the bullet train in uh, both Korea and Japan can get you anywhere in a few hours and it's inexpensive really. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of room to um, explore in this uh, program, which we, I, I know I discussed this in big uh, long length of time, but yeah, there's definitely so many um, access points, it's so easy to get around and it's really inexpensive. And you also are gonna be learning, you know, what it's like to live in a different country and kind of how to uh, sort yourself around that. So I think that's a really important life skill. Exactly. 
And Anna and Sophia, you came in a bit late, uh, so you might watch the video because Jenna presented a lot of information out front early on. So watch the video again. I put in the link to the website for this program, which have all details in the chat. Um, yeah, I was going to mention something, just forgotten. But any questions? I have another question. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think this is the last thing on my mind. I've I've been looking over the application for like nearly a month now, and I'm just psyching myself out over the short answer parts. Do you all have any advice for the application um, for getting into the program? Just do it. Don't worry about it. Yes, do not be nervous about those short answers. They're not there to intimidate you. We just kind of really want to get to know who you are as a person. That It's just a brief introduction to who you are. So we want to know who you are. And I know you and you're amazing, so. <laughs> okay, I, I might have gone a little overboard with like my drafts. Um, is there like a recommended word count? <laughs> keep it under? Don't worry, just, just get it done. Uh, right now we have 21 applicants already and we have approved all, all of them. So at least 21 students going. Uh, we are hoping to reach 35. There will be a good, nice group of students. Um, and uh, I'm organizing a kind of uh, unofficial meetup on the uh, 13th of November on, on a Friday, which is about two weeks from today, where we are going to get together as a group of uh, students and faculty and uh, do some fun stuff. Talk about uh, planning excursions or uh, other activities. Um, we want to create a community of uh, students and faculty on this trip before we go so that you already have friends uh, way before you go. So you're not going with strangers, you know, we, we want to develop that. And a few other things that uh, I want to mention is that we are visiting uh, companies in Tokyo and Seoul, tech companies. So that will give you exposure on on uh, you know tech industry in those uh, countries, and we are hoping to connect with alumni as well. Uh, you of you alumni who are from uh, Tokyo and Seoul, so we can uh, you know uh, do some some activities with them. So all around awesome program. It's not just about the class stuff, but also a lot of things outside the classroom um, that is uh, supporting the, the the things you're going to learn in class. Uh, just another question, like if we get if we get admitted to the to the minor program, do we need to register for the classes or you guys just like register? Like... Good question. We'll get it all registered for you. These classes are different from the other classes for the on campus student. You know, the classes that you're doing is a different section altogether. So we don't, there is no overlap with the other classes. But we will just say for you. Thank you. Yeah. Something awesome about Eccles Global is that, you know, as soon as you're in our program, applicate, uh, an applicant, you know, we are going to go, we're going to break our backs trying to get this program perfect for you with minimal stress. So yeah, we will cover all of those uh, signing up things for you, which is really beneficial. So would you be attending the, the cohort on the trip this summer? Yes, I will. I teach, I'll teach. i be teaching one class, the web development class. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I also go in the beginning to make sure everything's okay. Now, when we talk about, uh, when Jenna mentioned about uh, safety provided by World Strikes, so they have, this company have a local team that take care of this, you, your, our, our students and our faculty all the time. There's a, there's a manager in Tokyo, there's another manager in Seoul. The job is to make sure we are safe all the time, uh, that you don't, you're not homesick or you, you're not you know, emotionally troubled or whatever. Take good care of you. So that's the other thing about this program that is, um, is very reassuring. And um, yeah, that, that helps us to focus on uh, having a good experience and uh, having a good uh, learning experience and learning the culture experience. Guys, these are some awesome questions. Like seriously, we appreciate you got your interest in the program. So anything else, feel free, anything on your mind, just let loose, let us know. 
Um, I have another one. Um, if students who um, arrive there at the destinations, would they need to quarantine for two weeks or is it um, straight into the program? Uh, we do not know yet at this point. We hope that we don't have to. I don't think that's the case. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's a tough question because, um, you know, things change all the time with uh, the COVID regulations. So um, we'll definitely keep you updated as soon as we know something, though. So you guys will be the first people to know. Yeah. And um, you may have missed this, Anna and Sophia, because came late. Um, if we have to cancel because of COVID, we will refund you all your deposits. Yes, and those deposits are due, the withdrawal deadline I stated was February uh, 5th. So that is the date where you, when your $500 deposit is due. Yeah, but you have to register by December 15th or oh, that's a priority deadline. Yeah, so yeah, register by uh, December 15th and then you'll be an applicant, but then you don't have to pay that initial uh, fee, that $500 until February 5th. Yeah, well, I encourage you to uh, register as soon as possible. There are already 21 students uh, registered and already approved. Uh, we can only take up to 35. That's the max that we can do. Yeah, thank you for your time. And uh, I hope that you join on this awesome trip. Thank you. Also, it was February 1st. I got that date wrong, not the 5th, the 1st. <laughs> Thanks. Talk to your advisor. Because I do not know your separate, your individual uh, uh, education uh, situation right now. Because 44, uh, the IS minor requires the student to be a pre-business student. I'm not sure if that's the case. Uh, so talk to your advisor, make sure that's sort, that it's sorted out. And 4410, of course, again, that you need to, uh, to, to as a prerequisite. Okay, if you have any other questions, let me know. I pass the time back to Jenna to wrap things up. Yes, okay. Thank you guys so much again for coming. We love hearing from you guys and hearing your questions. We wanna make you feel as comfortable about these programs as possible. I just saw Chong Oh put his uh, email down in the chat bar. Mine's in there as well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, we're honestly, I'd be happy to sit here and talk to you guys all day about this program. It's really exciting. Um, but if there are no more questions, I think we'll uh, wrap it up for now. If you ever want to refer back to this meeting, it will be on the Eccles Global website homepage. Or, yes. Okay. Thank, so you. thank you guys so much. Bye. Thanks, Jenna. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I also had one, another question that yes. just came to mind. I'm sorry. Um, uh, if, if So are we um, allowed to apply to the IS minor? and other study abroad programs just as a backup in case we don't get accepted to our first choice? Yes, yes, of course. The IS minor on campus, is that what you're referring to? It's always available. Is that um, yeah, sort of. Yeah, I like the study abroad programs in the summer and the, mm -hmm. the IS minor in the summer. Uh, I'm, I'm not understanding your question. Uh, oh, okay. Saying that if you don't get into the summer program going to Tokyo and Seoul, that you can apply for IS minor on campus? Oh, I, I'm asking if we can apply for other um, study abroad summer sessions. Oh, of course you can. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, that's just something and just make sure you're letting um, as soon as you know you're like decided on a program that make sure you contact us and withdraw from those other programs, just so we can uh, open the slots open for other people who will be able to take it. But yes, absolutely apply for as many as you want. <laughs> okay, okay, that's super helpful. Thank you so yeah, much. No, of course. Okay, uh, thank you both so much for your Bye. time. Thank you. Thank you. Jenna. Jenna. Thank you, Buzz. Thank you, everyone for coming. That was great. High yeah. five over Zoom. <laughs>